you can often hear people talk about acting for the camera as though it's a completely different job and skill. And there are some very particular technical requirements about working on camera and thinking about that work different from working on a play. But the job is very much the same. When I work with students on this idea of physical actions, about embodying these action verbs and look at text, one of the things we look at is this idea of expanding and contracting the action to understand what level of visibility or the ways in which it's coming through your body, right? And so in some versions, because of the circumstances, because of the medium, it's possible that that action verb is coming through not just on text, but also in huge expansive physical ways. Maybe that's because of the style of performance that's happening. It's maybe it's a particularly physical theater production. And so everything is expanded in a way. Maybe it's because in that moment in the play, you're, um, there's some kind of combat. You're punching a person, right? That's a really expanded physical form of an action, but that there's still an action behind it. But then there's going to be moments on camera where you're working in close up. And so the amount at which the, the shrinking of that action, it can move to a really small place and still be just as communicative. You can still feel a sense of the strength of that action inside, but it's coming out in very little more than a look or a glance or a sound or maybe a single word or through silence. And that that doesn't mean you have to lose the power of the action in your physical experience, but it does mean the amount that permeates, right? The amount that's kind of released out into the world is um, smaller, right? That you're pushing up against the, um, the feeling inside of you and just a little bit is sneaking out instead of a more expanded version. And that idea of expansion and contraction, I play with lots of exercises around it because it isn't just useful in terms of the medium that somebody's working in. It's useful in any given medium moment to moment that what we feel permitted to express with somebody we're intimate with versus what we feel permitted to express with a professional relationship or a stranger uh, in a public space, those are all different, not just for us, but they're different for each character moment to moment from the way we might express it. So that can become a powerful way actors understand um, how a character is different from them too. Mm -hmm.